Hello everyone and thanks for joining me for some tips to measure and adjust paragliding lines. With the ENC two liner gliders roller coasting into the market, the line checking topic is getting more important for many of you. You can ship the glider to the dealer for a line check, but you can also do it yourself. This video is not a complete guide, but contains many tips for the do it yourselfer, especially for the first timer. There is no new science in this video, just sharing my experience. The measuring device. I advise you to buy a simple measuring device similar to this Bosch model without Bluetooth. Unless you're checking many gliders like a repair shop, you do not need a Bluetooth interface to send the measured value automatically to your computer. The reasons are you want to make sure you're measuring the right line and you're measuring it correctly. A manual check of the measured value will therefore help. The setup. Although you can make minimalistic setup with only some cords and a carabiner, I advise you to make something that gives you more accuracy and stability. And then it might look like this model out of wood. I used all scrap materials and did not buy anything extra for the setup. It's easy to make and does not require special tools, no metal work. This is a slider base with guidance for the moving part. And a plastic tube to reduce friction pulling up 5 kilos. For the 5 kilos, I take 5 1 liter bottles in a bag. I hook up to the sliding part. Also notice the piece of wood to stop the sliding part. The sliding part has a white plate that will be the shooting target for the laser. The upper nail is to hang on one riser at a time. And the other set of nails are to keep the lines and riser together. Some tape at the edge is to avoid friction for the lines in case I would touch the wood. As you can see, the moving part slides with almost no friction on the base. The base should be fixed on the table or rack to keep it in place. I choose a rack with holes. And these two wooden pieces have screws on the other side that will hook into the rack like this. The space you need. A room one and a half times the length of the lines is preferred. A large width of the room is not required as you do not need to open the glider completely. The Excel table preparation. Good preparation is mandatory. In the glider manual or in the test report, you will find the line set layout and the table with the lengths of the lines. How the length of the lines is presented might differ from vendor to vendor. You want the length of the upper cascade lines all the way to the riser end. Advanced gliders will give the line length that goes from the glider edge to the carabiner or soft link at the riser. Nova gliders will give the line length that goes from the glider edge to the end of the riser. For Nova gliders, the distance between the riser and the shooting plate needs to be measured manually one time and subtracted from the line measurement. In my Excel sheet, the first part is filling out the line lengths per line group. In this case, the A, B, C, and stabilo lines. These values are filled out in green in the first part of the sheet. Next, I have the same columns, but I adjust the expected length with the delta caused by the measuring plate. The different rows are grouped together in colors to show the lines connecting to the same main line at the riser end. For instance, the yellow group corresponds with the upper A lines all ending at A1. The act. I hook up one riser and I have the 5 kilo hooked up as well. With my sheet it's easy to start at the center of the glider. Place the end of the laser measurement device against the glider next to the loop. Pull 15 cm to lift up the 5 kilo and point to the white plate and read off the distance of the laser device and fill it out in the spreadsheet. You can use a table to rest your hand laser for more accuracy. Each time I fill in a new value, I immediately see the delta and can remeasure if I have doubts in case the delta is looking odd because maybe I took the wrong line or maybe the sheet is wrong or something else is off. That's why for me and my very occasional measurements, I do not want to use Bluetooth but rather fill out myself 
and check each time the result. How to correct the line length. If the line length differs more than 10 mm on a two liner, it's advised to correct the line length. I will first measure all the lines and next get a look at what needs to be done to get it adjusted. Ideally, you want to get back to the factory settings or have at least the same delta for all of your lines. I prefer going back to the factory setting. This image shows some techniques to reduce the length. The reduction can be at any intersection of lines and preferably at the riser end. In case you need to make a line longer, you can use a self-made splice or use a small carabiner like this one. Using a carabiner is handy if the extra length needed is rather short. An example sheet evaluation. This is the first measurement of my Nova Xenon 2 liner. After 200 hours, it got a slower trim speed. The lines that need a correction are in the red color. For the yellow and gray section, the A lines, eight in total, they are 20 millimeters too long, and this is for both risers. These lines are connected to the main lines A1 and A2. The correction is a double loop at the riser end. The red section, the A lines, six in total, or at least 10 mm too long, and this is for both risers. These lines are connected to the main line A3. The correction is a single loop of A3 at the riser end. The white section, the stabilo lines, do not need any adjustment. As for a two-liner, if the deviation is less than 10 mm on average, no adjustment is needed. The length of the orange section, the B lines, is okay as well, so no adjustment needed. The blue section, the B lines, for in total, are plus minus 10 mm too long, and this is for both risers. These lines are connected to the main line B2. The correction is a single loop of B2 at the riser end. For the green section, the last two B lines, numbers 13 and 14, are 10 mm too long, and this is for both risers. These lines are connected to the main line B3. I could not loop B3 at the riser end, as this will also affect the B lines 9 to 12, and they do not need an adjustment. At B3, with BM7 making the loop was an issue, as there was not initial loop length. Therefore, I made the correction with a single loop at both BM7 and B13 and 14 at its intersection. The length of the C lines was okay as well. And here you see the result of the second measurement after my adjustments. All values have now a delta smaller than 10 mm. I flew the glider newly trimmed and it was biting the thermals again, felt more pressurized and the trim speed was back to normal. Have a look at the description of this video for some useful links about some parts I used and links to technical info about line tuning. Thanks for watching this Tomsey paragliding video.